Hey there, you're back. Welcome to the 3030 Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Let's put a limit to how many characters someone can type in your text area. I'm sure you've seen this before. As soon as you start typing, the character count goes up, and after a while, it just stops. And that's because they put a limit on it. Uh, Nowadays, there is uh, an easy way to do it through HTML5 using a max length limit, but sometimes it's great to have a JavaScript way, JavaScript limit uh, so that you can use that that hard stop and do other things with it, whereas HTML5, you're just stopping somebody from keep typing, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, well, anyway, let's continue. In my what you'll need to know, I, if you notice, I added something called string methods. This is something I covered uh, a long time ago. Please watch that tutorial because we're going to use it in this tutorial. So the setup I have here is the same as last time where I type in characters get counted. But we're going to add a few more lines to it. So let's do an if statement. We'll do characters dot length. So if it's greater than, I want to stop it at 15 characters just for no reason. And then we'll do my text dot value. Equals to so we're going to uh, affect the value of the my text box, which is the text box text area here. We're going to say we're going to equal it to so my text dot value so whatever the user has already dot substring. Remember substring. So we'll start at zero characters and stop at fifteen characters. Pretty easy. So let's run it. So let's say I type in a bunch of characters. I've reached 15, and if I type one more, it doesn't let me type. So I can keep typing, and it just cuts off and enters just the first 15 characters. Now, if you'll notice, if I type in a 6, it actually updates the character count to 16, even though it's not taking it. It doesn't always do it. It's a little buggy. So to fix that, what I would normally do is just do, in this if statement, we'll do word count dot inner text equals to 15. So as soon as this is reached, uh, the value of the span tag word count will always stay at 15. So if I update and run it, now if I type in, there we go, nothing happens. So if I type in one more, as you can see, the 15 is not changing. And we've just entered a limit. So if I want to do 150 characters, I can do that as well. Uh, remember we had like 236. If I type this in there, there you go, it cut it to 150, because remember. 150. You need to make sure you change everything. So even though there's like 236 something characters, it won't go past 150. I can type it in. There you go. Pretty easy, right? Just a few more, few more lines to your code, and you can uh, make your forms much more dynamic, much uh, give the users a better experience. Well, I I hope you've learned a lot in the past two tutorials on how to do this little assignment here. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Uh, there will be more tutorials coming in the future. If you have any suggestions for uh, future tutorials, please let me know. I'm happy to oblige. Please visit easyprogramming.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.